Hi kids, Hudson and Harris here. You know, marijuana edibles or medibles are treated very harshly in the state of Texas. As a matter of fact, they're not even treated as if they're marijuana. They're treated like a controlled substance, like heroin. To make matters worse, they include the entire weight of the food product that the marijuana is in for sentencing. So if you've got a pound and a half tray of pot brownies, it's treated as if it's a pound and a half of heroin. It's an enhanced first degree felony in Texas, and you could get life in prison. We wrote a song to help you remember to not cook your weed. Walking down the aisle at the H-E-B You're picking up supplies for a party You got some butter and you got some eggs You got a box of Duncan Hines brownie mix if you add in a little bit of marijuana, better not get caught, or else you're gonna get arrested with a major felony for a small amount of weed. Making pot brownies is a big mistake if you live in Texas while you bake. The butter and the flour and the oil are all included in the ways. And if you make a can of butter or hash oil from the pot, it's a concentrate. And if you get caught, it's a felony of the second degree for a single pot brownie. When you shake up some marijuana, Keith comes out, and we know you're gonna melt it in butter and make some food. But if your neighbor calls the cops, well, then you're screwed. Cause the state of Texas says that it's not weed if it's not attached to trees, yeah, it's legally the same as cocaine, that's insane. Making pot brownies is a big mistake, if you live in Texas while you bake, because all of the ingredients are counted. Just like you murdered your wife. It's a felony of the first degree. Like murder. For a tray of pot brownies. Oh, it's always a felony of some degree when you're cooking pot brownies. <laughs> Like <laughs> 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 <laughs>